Hey guys, what is up? My name is Connor, and today guys I've been thinking about RAM. And RAM is a key component to building a computer, but how much RAM is necessary for a computer? So most games nowadays recommend at least 6 to 8 gigabytes of RAM for the game to run smoothly and well enough that you're able to get a good gaming experience. But when I built my computer, I put 16 gigabytes of Corsair's Vengeance LED RAM in my system, and it seems to be working fine, but I actually want to see how much of a difference is 8 gigabytes from 16 gigabytes. So actually before I get to the tests, I actually want to show you guys, if you go to Task Manager on your computer, and then you click on the Performance tab, you can actually see how much memory you've been using on your computer, and if you might need to upgrade. So if you look at it, and you looked at how much RAM it's using right now, and how much RAM you have left over, if you don't have much left over, definitely upgrade, but if you are kind of in the safe zone, which mine is about three gigabytes used as of right now, which I just turned on my computer. I haven't done anything yet. It's used about three gigabytes. So I have about 12 left over. I definitely don't need to worry about upgrading. But if you have eight gigabytes of memory, but you're already using seven gigabytes of memory, that might be where you want to upgrade your system to maybe 16 gigabytes. So right now I actually want to show you guys some tests that I did with both eight gigabytes of memory and 16 gigabytes of memory. So for the first test, I tested Superposition, which is a very, very taxing benchmarking system. Now this is at 1080p. The graphics card that I'm using is the GTX 1070, and the CPU is the Core i5-7600K. And as you guys can see, with 16GB of RAM, I was only able to maintain an average of 27.03, but with 8GB, it was very close to the same, but only 0.3 more with 8GB. You can also see when I used 16 gigabytes of RAM, the GPU temperature was also two degrees higher than it was for the eight gigabytes. So the next thing I did was I benched Mark Haven. And as you guys can see, there is almost no difference between the two. At the average FPS, there was only a 0.1 difference. So for something like this, it wouldn't make a difference whether you got eight or 16 gigabytes. After this, I tested Tom Clancy's Wildlands and actually 16 gigabytes did better than eight gigabytes, having a two FPS difference, but that slight difference won't really affect your gameplay at all. Now, the last thing I tested was Resident Evil 7 and actually eight gigabytes did better than 16 gigabytes, but it was still, again, a very small difference. So as of right now, there's not much of a difference between 8 gigabytes and 16 gigabytes. But maybe within like the next two years, games are going to start recommending you 16 gigabytes instead of 8. But as of right now, there's not much of a difference between the two. But yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to go check out the RAM that I'm using in my system, the Corsair LED Vengeance RAM, I will link that in the description below. While you're down there, go to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, Comment any videos you guys might want to see in the future, and I will see you guys in the next one.